Hey everyone, ADH here. Now if you're stuck on Womp's Fortress in Super Mario 64, this walkthrough is going to show you where every star is as well as how to collect them. I'm even going to throw in some tips and tricks as well. Now if you want to jump to a specific star, just use the timestamps down below. Now for star number one, we just want to get to the top of the fortress where Womp is going to be awaiting us. So I would generally start off by walking around the side of the fortress. Just watch out for these pillars that come out of the wall. We've got some moving platforms as well. Now, if you have gotten good with the long jump by this point of the game, there is actually a bit of a shortcut where we can take a corner off the level here. Now, if you haven't got good at long jumps, I definitely recommend by this point of the game getting used to them. But for the time being, we're going to follow around the normal path. We've got a few piranha plants around here. Now, if you do get close to them, you should be able to hear a bit of lullaby music. That means they won't attack you. But if you do get a bit too close, they will. Now, round the corner here is where we could have done a long jump to, which we did earlier. So let's head up the moving platforms here. Now, the way to take out Womp is to kind of put yourself in front of him. As soon as he starts looking like he's going to drop on you, just walk out the way. Then all you need to do is jump on the back, use a ground pound on the little plaster area, and you need to do this three times and you'll get the star. Now for star number two, we just pretty much follow the same route as star one. We need to get to the top of the fortress. I'm going to use a backflip here though to get up onto the higher platform here. Now if you can't do that yet, don't worry, you can just follow the path round as normal down below. Now, instead of a boss fight, we've got this big tower here with a lot of moving platforms. It's just basically making sure you get a timing down right here, making sure you jump properly. And once you get to the top of the tower, there's going to be a star waiting for you. Now for star number three, I'm going to use a somersault to get on top of the wall. You can do a somersault by pressing the jump button as you do a U-turn on the joypad. That will get you up here. Now if you can't do somersaults or backflips, just follow the normal path and that will get you up here. Now I've already spoken to the pink the bomb here. Once you have spoke to him, the cannon will open up. Now I would generally aim towards this direction. Try and hit the back pillar in the background here. Now, if you just go down the pole, there'll be a star waiting for you. Here we go! Now, star four is the eight red coins. So, I will show you where each of these coins are. The first coin is just along here. It's just above one of the pillars. Coin number two is on top of the one. Once we've jumped up here, we need to get on top of the big blue one. Once you're on top of his head, just wait for it to get to the top and jump. Red coin number three is behind this piranha plant. Now, you can actually punch the piranha plants if that makes your life easier. That was number four. Number five is on top of this rotating platform. 
So just make sure you're standing on the end of it when it rotates round. Coin number six is on the slope down below. Now if you do miss that, you can try again to grab it without going back all round. So if you try and do a triple jump, you should be able to still collect it that way. So the other two red coins are actually on little floating islands, so I would suggest doing long jumps to get to them. Once you have collected both, there'll be a star that appears down on the bottom level, so just make sure you're careful about how you get back down. You don't want to die at this point. It's also worth noting, if you do jump off of a high point of a level, as long as you use a ground pound before you hit the ground, you won't lose any power. Here we go! Now we're going to start Star 5 off by grabbing onto the tree and climbing to the top of it. This releases an owl. Now this is the tricky bit actually. Trying to jump onto the owl so he'll take you into the air. You just need to make sure you jump when he's quite low to the ground. Once you've grabbed him, make sure you hold down the jump button so you don't fall off. Once you're up in the sky, you want to kind of head towards the little cage. There's a star waiting inside of it. Once you're above it, you might need to change the camera angle a bit. Just release yourself and grab the star. Here we go! Now for star six, we want to head back to that cannon that we used for star three. So I'm going to do a backflip up on top of the wall again. So once you've reached the cannon and you are inside of it, make sure you kind of aim to the right hand side a bit. And we want to aim for the corner of the wall, or the edge of the wall here. Once you've done that, a star will get revealed. Just head back up to the top and grab it. Now the 100 coin star for this level really isn't that bad, just as long as you know where you're going to find some of these coins. I would suggest killing all of the prana plants, because they will give you a blue coin, and that's going to be worth 5 coins. Now if you head down the back here, there is also a little blue switch. That will give you four blue coins. So that'll be about 20 in total. Now I'm gonna use the cannon to get a little bit higher up here. Now again, Definitely collect the red coins. They're going to give you two coins per one red coin. The Womps as well. If you treat them exactly the same as the boss fight in Star 1, do a ground pound onto their back. They'll give you five coins as well. As you can see though, I've only collected a few of the red coins, there's plenty around. 
That'll get you well above the 100 coins you need. Here we go! Well, I hope this guide helped you out. If you want to check out any of my other walkthroughs, the link should be on the screen right now. If you liked the video, maybe give it a thumbs up and leave me some comments down below. Thanks for watching.